Welcome back to the channel and today we are playing Ed Mercif, which is an educational VR experience. So we've got what? Science, lab, geography, maths, history, whatever that is, that looks cool. So, and who's this guy? Can I click you? How do I teleport? I guess I, I guess I have to teleport to the set coordinates, which would be these. So let's try a science one. There. Oh, it actually worked. Wow. I want this one. Okay. Oh, it marks it red if you've done it. Okay, so what do we have here? This circuit consists of many parts. Can you name some of them? Battery, bulb. That looks like a variable resistor, and this is a switch. Cool. Okay, I don't know how far I got, but let's see what happens if I. Oh, they have really activated it. So this must be the current, I guess. So how do I... Oh, I can move it using my little hand trigger thing. Okay, so now, if I do that, the bulb should come on because there's less resistance. It hasn't got to go through all these coils of cables. Oh, look at this. What's that say? What does that say? So the length of the cable... Oh, I've lost track. Of it. So we've got the length... Oh, and it tells you about the thickness of the cable. So if I have a large thickness, more amps can get through. If I have more length, I've got more resistance. And if I've got this, whatever that is, that's the resistance of the wire. This is cool! What's this then? Okay, wow, take a look at these structures. Seems a bit complex, but let's take a look from the start. Okay, so we've got bacterial, animal, and plant. Let's go for bacterial. Oh look, it's throwing. Ah, no! No! I'm not going anywhere near that thing. Holy crap! <laughs> Take a closer look at our friend's chest. This group of ribs has a very special important task. Screw you, spider! <laughs> Skeletal? Wait, can I do anything with it? Can I grab parts? No. But I can look at respiratory. Ah, oh, weird! Nervous? <gasps> can I spin it? Oh my god, I can spin it! M muscular. M mus muscular. That is super cool! This is one of the better educational ones I've seen, actually. Wow! Uh, there's no words. I wish this guy would... Set. Smallest parts, like carbohydrates and proteins, which, in turn, provide us energy and compose our bodies. If you were to associate your heart with a machine, Do you know what? I'm just gonna shut up. It does actually speak, and there are words. I thought it was all silent, so. A pump, doesn't it? These movements are tightly coordinated with your respiratory system, so your whole body can successfully discard carbon dioxide and receive oxygen. Can we go over here? Have you ever noticed that objects can have very different colors? Right. And did you know that, depending on the light that you project on them, the color you see can change? Okay. This funny spaceship-like colorful lamp is a way of experimenting with these different situations. Right. Come on, try to interact a bit with it. <laughs> okay. You can change the color of the light using the circular dial at the top of the lamp, and the color of the object using the platform dial at the so bottom. Survive red at the top. Try to set up the following conditions. The beam's color as white, and the platform's as blue. Okay. Uh, when white. you do that, you'll see that the platform appears to be blue. That happens because the platform will absorb all the other colors that compose the white light and reflect I only see. the blue one. So now it's blue. If you choose a different color for the beam of light, yeah. other than white or blue, the platform will appear to be black. Why is that? Oh yeah, I thought it would that be purple. That happens because the blue platform will have not reflected any color of light. Hey, the rainbow has many colors. How about you try it out with some more? Light can also be emitted through different ways. So I want it to mix. These bracelets emit fluorescent light, caused by an environmental trigger, which, in this case, happens when we bend the bracelet and enable its chemical compounds to react. Okay. Besides that, they're so stylish. They really are. Okay, so if I... My other hand doesn't want to do anything. Cool! So what are the torches for? Can we play with the torches? Oh. 
Weird! I like it! Okay, what's this then? What's You've this? probably played with some of these. Magnus! Observe how they can come in lots of different shapes and sizes. Yes. So Have you ever noticed that depending on its position, the extremities of Shush! The I like the fact you can pause it and then it carries on like right? You can vary their position. Very good. Okay, so south and south they should repel. North and north should repel. Why? Because opposites attract. That is so cool. That is, that is a meat. What's this do? Oh, it's, a, it's just a picture. This is, this is really good. So there's a play here. So I'm assuming this is a video. Let's skip a bit. Oh, this is cool. For, for an educational experience, this is amazing. Let's try some math. Okay, go on, tell me. It's not something you can eat. Can you see this beautiful wheel with one meter diameter in front of you? Yeah. Try to push it around to see what happens when the pi number turns up. It has a... F Have you noticed that when the wheel completed a full turn, the total distance traveled was equal to pi? Or yes. approximately 3.14. I can see that. Look at that. In this case, since the wheel completed a full turn, this distance is equal to its circumference. What do you think would happen if the diameter was two or three meters instead of one? Would it be yep. two or the three times? The distance the signal on the ground would also be multiplied by this factor. Oh, that yeah. shows us that the pi number is a constant that relates the diameter of a circle to its circumference. This is amazing! I've learned so... Man, this is such a cool educational thing. What's this? What if we could grab a hexagon and extrude it? Which geometrical solid would we obtain? Oh my god. This object can Whoa. help us answer that question. We would obtain a prism, in this case, a hexagonal regular prism. Shush, now, shush. Go back to the exhibit. What happened? This is so cool! Man, we got a place like this not far from us in Cardiff called uh, Technoquest. And it's sort of like this, it's like one of those science museums. But this is awesome! Okay, what do we have here? Try to paint the right colour inside each target fast. You might have to mix. Throw one of the balls from the bases of... Or use one of the shields to deflect the cannonball. Start the game. Oh. Ah, I've done it! Uh, yellow? Give me a yellow! Just give me the ball. Oh wait, I could just do that. Okay, maybe not. Come here, you. Come here. And uh, whoop! Wow, that was way too high. Whoop! This is great! Woo! Red? Oh god, I'm doing terrible. Give me a red. Oh, nearly! So close! Try a bit more. A bit more turn. A bit more tilt. Oh, I got it! Yellow. Come on. Oh, over here. Yes! Uh, green. That's uh, yellow and blue. Oh, a bit more tilt. Yellow. Oh, nearly, nearly. Bit down. Bit more across. Green! Oh, this is amazing! Oh, God, screw that. <laughs> That's going to take me forever. What's this? Did you know that the way your computer works has a lot to do with how your shirt is manufactured? Serious? The textile sector was the first to have its processes automated. And ultimately, wow. when the trend of processes spread to many other economic sectors, it inspired the development of programming language. This is so cool! The Have you heard of the MMA fights that are broadcast on TV? Yeah. If the athletes fought until their death, do you think people would still watch it? Uh, what if the public maybe. had any say in the decision of who was going to live or not? Shush, you make very valid points, but I'm trying to explore. Go inside. Oh, great. Oh Welcome my god! Welcome to the Colosseum. Uh, <clears throat> I've got up here. This is the place oh, from which the emperor here. would watch the combats. At the... Hmm. This is how the public would watch... Hey, can you imagine Gladi... The Colosseum's dimensions are stunning. Wow. It is about 48 meters. It is estimated that about 50,000 people yeah, watched. Yeah, how do I exit? Is that... Years. 
How do I exit the Colosseum? Is there a button for- Oh! May have just broken. No, I'm back! <gasps> so it, that's history. What about you? Let's go in the lab. Welcome oh! to our science lab. <laughs> okay. So what we got here? What are these? What do these do? What do these do? Oh. Oh, hello. <gasps> I can... Oh! Oh, I forgot to smash that. Oh, no, I didn't. Wait. I can actually do science! Go over here. A little recap of your chemistry classes. Do you remember that the notion of the atom went through somewhat of an evolution? Yes! At first, they were thought to be massive oh. spheres. But some stubborn scientists thought there was something more. One of them was Ernest... Shush! I'm exploring. Oh, there's something over here. What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh my god, they're spraying cocaine everywhere. You need to stop doing that. Give me the cocaine. A little recap of your chemistry. Oh, uh, let's go back in the museum! This is amazing! Man, this is cool! It's like a virtual reality science museum! Wait, there's a lobby? Ah, uh, math. This is a multiplayer lobby! What?! Oh my god, so you'd be able to just hang out with other people and learn to go. Let's check out geography. Let's do geography. Ah, it's the geography. final thing. Right, let's go with this one. Have you ever thought that the water evaporated from a glass? Fine, watch the video. <laughs> You're so sarcastic! Fine, watch the video. Oh my god, you're so sarcastic. The map oh. in front of you shows the types of vegetation throughout the world. Whoa! However, have you ever noticed how places in different continents can have similar climatic this. characteristics? Hey, quick question. Oh, it's a tank! Do you often watch the news? No. If you do, you can probably easily recognize the object in front of you. It's a tank! Did you know that many of the equipments employed in conflict nowadays were developed and first used during World War One? Why can't I play with it? This is a lot due to the results of the Industrial Revolution. Shush! I wanted to play with the tank and you won't let me. Alright, what's this? What's this? This looks interesting. Whoa! <gasps> Wait, are we gonna see people escape? Go on, talk. Is it a park you always go to? Pretty boring, huh? Right? That'd be similar to a situation the Germans went through. For These animals <laughs> might not be as good protagonists for you to- Have you ever noticed that objects can have very different colors? And did you know that, depending on- Did you know, Shush. if you were to choose- Shush! So this is- Whoa! Okay, so- Robinson, Peter, and- Go on, tell me. Flat representations are more useful. They are easier to store, facilitate the measurements of the surface being mapped, wow. and can show large portions of the Earth's surface at once. So they've but all got different ways of doing noticed, it. Since the 16th century, turning a globe into a plane does not come without costs. It's hard. The resulting map will inevitably include distortions. Yeah, look at the distortion. So there are several types of planification techniques, each of which aims at maintaining a specific character. Okay, I'm done with this. So this is amazing! What a way to learn! So thank you for watching this episode. Make sure to like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you want to see more. What a way to learn! I love it! And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!